It's estimated that steam loss alone costs British industry three billion pounds a year. In 1995, chartered engineer Tim Gardner, concerned by the steam wastage through conventional steam traps, looked at developing a new steam trap that would overcome the problems inherent in mechanical traps. The solution was the revolutionary GEM condensate return system, featuring the GEM steam trap with no moving parts. Fittingly, Tim developed the gem trap in a laboratory at his father's home, not far from Dartmouth, where more than 250 years earlier, Thomas Newcomen had developed the world's first steam engine. As an engineer, all I wanted to do really was to give people a better system, which works for them. So steam traps are very much like steam trains. If you can get more for less, uh, that is a real competitive advantage. For example, with the gem trap, we've been able to get have a customer with 15% more production for exactly the same fuel bill. So that gives them an advantage worth millions of uh, pounds or euros, whichever way you like it, uh, over their competitors. Tim Gardner's revolutionary design was a development of the orifice plate traps used by the US Navy in the 1960s. They were more efficient and reliable than mechanical traps because they had one crucial feature, no moving parts. 